family time. Time to get your friends and families together and have a tamalada. And we're going to make it really easy for you. I am with an expert, Carol Pierce with Golden Kernel. She is the tamale diva, I think. It, it <laughs> is an understatement. And we're going to learn some uh, tamalada tips, how to make some tamales, but we want people to kind of get out of the box. We're not doing pork, we're not doing your traditional, we're doing something a little different. Yes, and what's different is uh, traditionally uh, tamale makers usually make it with a masarina, corn masa. Right. And uh, here recently, uh, after watching Dr. Oz talk about the nutritional benefits of brown rice flours and garbanzo bean flours, I decided to put it to the test and they are really delicious. So what we've got here is your shredded chicken. And to that we're adding two pounds of tomatillas that have been parboiled, ground camino. And this looks like a lot, but you said no, you're doing a whole chicken here, so you need a lot of spice. Exactly, because as uh, the tamales steam, you do lose some of the spice flavors. So you always add just a little bit extra in so that they come out delicious. Yum. And then we have salt. And then um, it's important to work with whole jalapenos and just add that in the there. The flavor's better than the already sliced ones, right? Yes, it's much more better. Okay. They come out really delicious. We soaked the husks about two hours in hot water and now you're cleaning them. To make sure that you get all the dirt and the silks that are on there off. Okay, so our husks are ready. They've been soaked, they've been cleaned. Our filling is ready to go. And you saved all the drippings from the roasted chicken to make the masa with, right? And yes. that's the next step. The way I like to work is to take a scoop of our masa. And you like it cold. And I like it cold. It, it works so much better. It's easier to adhere to the chucks if it's cold. And I've always been a, I like this little gadget here. So depending on how much filling you like. Um, I do like a lot of filling. I do too. And that's why my tamales are as big as Texas here. <laughs> that's why I love them. So you just put it on this end, only go halfway up your husk and then okay. just start rolling and, and then just fold over. So Carol, the next step is put them in the steamer. Right, and we stack them standing up. And then what I do is I'll wet the kitchen towel, a dish towel, to lock the steam yeah. inside the steamer so that they'll cook better. And uh, what we did was we started boiling our water. So it's ready to go. Ready to go, ready to cook. And we're just gonna add this in here. I'll write down on a piece of paper my start time, my water time, and the ready time. So for example, if it's five o'clock, I'll write down five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock. So at six o'clock, we have to add water to our steamer pot to keep them from burning. Um, and then we'll know uh, that they'll be ready at seven. So once you take them out, you spread them on a sheet for, let them cool for about 15, 20 minutes? Yes. And then you can dive in or wrap in foil and freeze, right? Exactly. And, and before we taste these, I wanted to let people know, you will come to their home and conduct a class. Yes, I will. Um, just give me a call or send me an email and I'll be happy to teach you how to cook tamales and then also teach you the art of the tamalada party. I'm already yes. planning mine for the holidays and I can't wait to dive in. We do have all of the recipes online. Uh, Carol has some other great recipes she shared with us as well. So I've written over 50 recipes mm -hmm. in 30 years. They're the best. They really are. They're the best tamales I've had. And I'm a Texas girl. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.